Hello folks and welcome back to Fairing Countryside where we're saving our case farm. But yeah, so first of all we're taking some fuel supplies back to the farm. We've got 32,000 litres of fuel so we'll go and take it back to the farm. So yeah, we are wrapping up September here by at least making sort of size work now. Hopefully we can get all the size work done on field 9. So yeah, that is obviously ready at any time to chaff. Do have soybeans and that, they'll be ready soon. On top of that, have a couple of crops. So yeah, soybeans are going to be ready soon. I think yeah, this one's ready next, and those two are just two months behind. But yeah, so that's episode. What we've done is we purchased the green milk and bakery. I spent most of our funds on that, so... That's going to be so churned away, get about 14,000 litres of bread a month, along with 25,000 litres of flour a month, so overall we're going to be netting an extra 9,000 litres of flour a month. But yeah, so all that will sell in around January time, I think, and by then we should have enough money in. So yeah, one thing I want to do is boost up our bank account even more, not just by the size work over here and now we could be doing. But things like getting into the forestry business, doing wood chips over the winter and that, and doing logging as well. So yeah, first of all we'll take this back to the farm, have at least some equipment, we'll go over that in a few moments. So there we go, fuel is going in, and that is the last bit, yeah do have a little bit of capacity left, but overall not too bad. But yeah, so I spent 20 grand on leasing this, so we've got the Colossus 6000, just a standard version now, literally everything standard, along with a TLX trader, because I realised with our tray over here, we can't rear dump it, I don't think. I think it's just the bomb, yeah. So that's going to be problematic for Sidish, so it's going to get filled up here with chaff and get itself beached. As I'm having little hiccups here this morning, so yeah. I think, yeah, without any further ado, we'll just get a start with this, so... Saying that, we still can use that. We can transport the chaff to a silo, or a, a normal silo, I mean, and then, yeah, simply, when we're done, use this with the lorry and that to unload it all, so and on that we got the, uh, what's it called, I don't know how to pronounce it, <laughs> it's a weird mod, so go to our lease equipment, the schnuffle stock, so yeah, hopefully you should get quite a bit from this, so there we go, we are chaffing away. And already that is a thousand litres. Actually, interesting in the chaff, do we get a yield in here? Yeah, we do, so. Yeah, the fact that we did do a bit of cheeky fertilizers field early on in the last episode, that means we're getting good yieldage. Obviously, for the fact that yieldage. So, if I get trigger these, so to our field over here, so yeah, overall, not too bad, just a little bit off the yieldage, just because of the pH, so that is the aligning of the fields, but yeah, overall, that ain't going too bad, all things considering, so I think the plan is, is when this is full, I'll hook onto the arbitrator, set the work off, and then I'll take glory with this, for an act. I should really should have two of these trainers actually. Yeah, there's five grand in that, but I think overall's gonna be worth it. No need at 205 grand for the sawmill and carpentry business, but I think overall the money I'm gonna make this I think that is to where just fireball. Okay, so one to the ground again. So yeah, obviously the pH is slightly worse, it's okay officially, so 
Purchase a another tr or not purchase lease another trailer. So go to you. See so yeah, extensions, tracks. No, that's fine. Oh, yeah. Forget the workers has issues with this. So looks like we've got to do this manually. So I am going to be a bit cheeky with this. So. Go to you. I'll do a little cheeky cheeky reset. Go to the right piece of equipment. See so yeah, it then. Yeah, what I'll do is I'll just swap these trays and actually yeah, I was use the yeah, I was gonna use the Denko in that first of all, but then yeah, I had a bit of a brainwave, so yeah, overall it's gonna cost us twenty let's say twenty-three grand. In fairness I ain't the worst. That's what I've had worse before, so. But yeah, so the worker made an option this, which is unfortunate, so. Looks like I'm gonna have to spend my time here. I'm not sure how long this is gonna take, maybe an hour or so, maybe two. So yeah, then we'll just get this first bit here done a sec. And then, yeah, we'll go and fill the bottom side up with our first note. So right, we got our first two of those here all filled up, so like this actually didn't take long at all. So yeah, two hundred thousand litres or two hundred and seventeen ish thousand litres. That's not even the headland done. So I think we get a fair bit of chaff from this, so I think at least we'll fill these bumper sides up, so what I'll do is I'll fill the middle one up and then afterwards I'll fill the sides one up. But yeah, they're going to be sort of less priorities because, yeah, I'll see just having issues with that in terms of unloading and all that, so. Maybe just because of the limited space or anything else. But yeah, so that is load number one. So, right, all the workers sorted now, I think. Touch with that. So here is load number two. But yeah, our your format two point is like literally oh yeah, very tippy now. I suspect we have over a thousand more power. But yeah, so that's episode did remember we swapped this out because we had issues with well off camera had issues with doing the potato contract and offloading 120,000 litres of potatoes. Seem to be an issue, so I thought, you know what, screw it. I'm not even going to bother with that, so. Anywho, let's get this one loaded. But yeah, like, seriously, this pit is going to be massive. So, let's go and fill this up. Or we've compacted that first 100,000 litres from. Oh no, was it 130,000 litres? I think it was from the little meadow field section. So after all that, yeah, we're at 320. Yeah, it hit 340,000 litres, so overall not too bad. And even with 673,000 litres of chaff in here, it ain't gonna take us too long to compact because of our immense roller. So just to sort of show off, so. 3% compacted, it's not too bad. Once we get that roller on, 35, 36. No downsides, we're getting bogged down ourselves with the tractor, but see that went up from 33 to 40% very quickly. Also, I don't know if this is going to leak out at the back, so it will be just a little bit wary of that, but yeah, also the thing about compacting as you go along, just make things a lot smoother so if you get bigger piles and that. See, so especially at the back here now, we make sure no space is left in that. Because, yes, 
this bunch of silos I need to bear. But yeah, 600,000 years and we've barely made a dent in, so... Looks like I'm going to be here for a while, so... Without any further ado, this gets is all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we are done here. Right, we are in October now, and yeah, we are starting off today with doing some contract work. But yeah, so with the signage, boy, did we get a fair amount of that. So, as I'm just doing the perimeters before setting the work off. Also, off camera, I've done the contract on the cornfield on field 11. She needs to sell that to the transport company. And after that, we've got a header at the store. We're going to borrow that combine for only, one well, in essence, there's 1,500, and do the soybean fields next to us on field 19. So, yeah, let me get this unloaded and work on this. And then, yeah, we'll quickly sell that corn before having a look at the silage. So, right, from the cornfield, we got 32,000 litres off of that. So, at the end of the day, oh, this is going to be pure profit for us for doing this contract work, so... Oops. Oh, forgot about the brakes. <laughs> forgot about the brakes with the load and that. I was thinking, I admit I'm not used to using realistic stuff with realistic weights. Yep, I'm not proud to admit to that, so... Cell point is somewhere over here, apparently. I'm going to get... Go outside the cab for this, because... Ooh, don't tell me you're there, because that's going to be interesting to do, so, does that work? Oh yeah, it does work that way, so fair enough. Let's see how much we get from this contract. So, the contract is done, and yeah, should get a couple of grand in profit from that, so, 2,200, not too shabby, so... I'm going to borrow said equipment there. I'm going to get this to soybean field. So there we go, we got the try on here and it fairly should work because we have a couple of combines to try on. Is that the upper end of class? No, that's the middle end, so... Ooh. 
Alright, that's going to be interesting because... Klaus is soon starting to work from 900 horsepower, so... <clears throat> seeing that though, I think we should be fine. Because yeah, what is our header's top speed? So if I go to here... The Titan... Draper we've got, so that is that baby over there. 10 miles an hour, so let's see how this performs. So, right, we just be in the uh, what's it, the auger cart to it, so fold you up. So, yeah, in terms of weight now, it's only 0.6 tons heavier. What seems to be managing just fine, so you know what? What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna set the rubber off. I know he's gonna have issues with those trees and that. But yeah, I'm gonna set you off. But yeah, so let's go and have a look at our silage. So in the end, didn't use those pits because well, I'll say for the most part we was able to use most of the main pit, so I've got it covered up last night. So open our help menu here, 63%, so that is full, and how much is that? That is like 3.18 million litres, top of that, we also got this, another 442,000 litres, so 3.5 million litres of size we've got here. And yeah, if we have the car prices, so head down to silage. At the moment, they're selling for about 510 to 536. Their peak price is 567. So, ooh, what's that? About 1.6 mil we're going to get. So, yeah, I want to get this contract paid off in. Not this contract, this farm paid off in five years, not 10 years. And, yeah, that's a pretty good way to go about it. So, yeah, we've got. But, yeah, we need to figure out a way to unload this at a later date. And to be honest, I got a couple of ideas. Don't have the belts installed, but things like I got these, which I got a Mark II version mod, which and those at twice the speed. Or I've got the other like white greeny one mod that does like 40 kilometers per hour. Tempt to get that in that. But yeah, reason why I'm not doing anything thus yet. So if we look at our crops, like so, our soybeans here are ready to harvest. But according to that, and our sweeping field are, is a month behind, and actually our clover is going to be ready tomorrow, I think. But yeah, I'm thinking is, with the corn, I'm going to harvest as much as I can, in terms of what we need. You're at 4%, you're at 64%. But yeah, my thinking is, in terms with the corn and that, harvest about 20 40,000 years, and I go from there, and yeah, to be honest, the rest I'll just chaff up, so get at least a full combine zone out of it, should be able to, especially comparing that to field 11, which is a lot bigger, so if I say 40,000 years, because yeah, I do want to try to save some products for a pig food, I know I didn't save the potatoes, I didn't save our wheat, the potatoes from the contract obviously, but I think overall, yeah, because we look at our pig feed mixture production, that does require corn, yep, sunflowers we're doing now, so I'll try to save as much of this sunflower as I can, but yeah, also we're in October, I'll look at the crop calendar for next year, so, ooh, we're at the last state, we can plant winter wheat and barley. But to be honest, I'm thinking we'll just wait till next year. That gives us four months, or five months in essence, or well, four or three months, November to February, to get everything all prepped. So, your tickety boo on the way. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to have issues, so. Let me take care of you, so stop, stop, I think, just stop. So yeah, you're at 8%, so if 
fact you're doing contract work, so crop destruction ain't a thing. But yeah, let me just clear a strip your site for the workers. And actually, you know what? We're not getting that message yet, but it is just starting to rain. So, how long is the rain going to be around for? Well, only an hour or so, so... Actually, I am going to stop. I am just going to do a cheeky fast forward because I completely didn't realise rain is here, so... Let's wait a little bit. The rain came early. It was meant to be from 9 till 10. There we go. That is a lot better now, so... But yeah, has that... It's been... Did get a message pulled up saying Yieldish would be affected by this, but... We know you get a Yieldish effect when harvesting the rain. This is at a certain point it'll pop up, but what is a big do, no. But yeah, so so I'll harvest as much as I can on the way back. As you we are almost full because this is like half the size of the hopper compared to our light 250. So we are now full. Probably it's gonna go out. Gonna bring the green car over. So there we go, she is unloading. This is sure having no issues whatsoever. I was gonna set that away with the worker. Try to increase the cruise control speed to what, 10 miles an hour. Okay, it can't go uphill at 10 miles an hour, but hey, it's doing it at Seven? Yep, seven miles an hour. But if it's standard header at 10.8 meters, it can harvest at six miles an hour, so overall it was a good choice to use this. But yeah, it's going to be very finicky here with the controls. So now we're going on downhill, now it increases to 10 miles an hour. But yeah, overall not too bad, got two combines on the way working. Okay, may have gone a bit too close there to the combine. Sorry. And that's another thing as well, it's that pipe as well, because it's only just barely big enough for us, so... But hey, it's just about managing, so... And what is all finely dandy. Since we're down here, I'm going to take over and do this bottom row here, so the workers going to have an easier time to turn, so... Let me just a sec. Okay, so right, did more than that little strip down there because, yeah, with that tree section over here, I thought we didn't have issues, so I've just gone down this entire section over here ourselves, so workers got a little section to do left. And yeah, bump into the green cart. And that is what soybeans, yep. Yeah, 60, well, I should know, because it's 8% required for harvesting, so that's half the field done already. Soybean, the sour sunflower on 20, we're doing good. And also, we've got another contract on 33, so what my thinking is, once we are done with this combine here, so yeah, this is going to take too long in comparison. Taking off a decent a another corn header, so oh yeah, I'm gonna use something we're already using, the Colossus Harvester Pack, and using said corn header, so let's select a appropriate cloth colour. And yeah, go with a cloth red. Okay, got a new cloth red there. Do we have a cloth red here? Yes we do. And that's gonna cost us three and a half grand. But yeah, that means we can have two combines doing the other field and that, so... Okay, every so often a worker is even some weird strips here and don't know why. So we see sections here where it's not being harvested. Yeah, I'm not sure why the worker's doing that. But you know what, once we're done here, I'll just grab the worker and I'll just do this part ourselves, so... 
exactly it's about 90 percent full now as you get two some flower fields so we'll definitely fill this up and then some yet again this missing section so i don't know why why are you doing this but anywho that's going to do this little tickety boo and that's going to be our goal for the day is to get these contracts done so that we're over that 205 grand mark because yeah I really want to get that sawmill and carpentry. I also have a little buffer because I've got some ideas with, again, other productions we can perhaps add as we go along over the next year and that. Because, yeah, what I want to establish is in this first year is production. So the first year on the farm between August to August, that's how I'm planning it at the moment. By August next year, I want to have carpentry and sawmill. Yeah, we'll see if we've got any other production mods. See, I've got a bunch of things in that feed mixer, like things like factory soy drink. So I think factory soy drink, how much is that worth? Because yeah, I've got a plethora of productions today. Well, because yeah, once I dip it up here and there, but yeah, also things like making juices and jams. Want to get that on the way as well. Be a soy drink. Okay, we're going to be off skew there. But yeah, actually, you know since we're missing strips over here, I was going to do this last section here ourselves, but let's wait until we get to the end of this run first. Actually, you know what? I am going to go along because since you fills up very quickly. <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm going to quickly empty this, and then yeah, what I'll do is I'll go off camera, get the rest of these contracts done, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards. So yeah, pull on side, so yeah, you're almost full. So I'm just going to free for this rather than use more control. And since we know so it's going to be a lot, even now, when it's not as big a price since we're harvesting, it's going to be out so those price, but what? At the end of the day, profit is profit, so I'm not complaining. Actually, I'm at the perfect speed now, and I've got hand off the throttle. Get the free rolling it down the hill. So, yeah, I think, yeah, bear with me a sec. Whilst I get these rest of the contracts done, and then we'll see where we stand afterwards once we're done with these contracts. Go. done I've seen the screenshot and a couple of little clips so all the contract work is done and we accidentally sold a lot of those soybeans to the transport company as I had sell points mixed up ever so slightly so yeah we'll complete that contract and I've accepted a contract for 28 which I haven't done a cultivating contract on field 11 and yeah, attempted to do some flower as well here, but yeah, I think I'll wait on that for the time being. But yeah, also we spent money on a little, little tanker. So this costs us six grand, four grand for diesel. Now I know we have a bunch of diesel on the main farm already. But yeah, if we'll have a little bit of an extra supply, ain't gonna do any harm. Especially that combine, like it's like 1,250 of capacity or something like that. I think actually we'll have a look ourselves. So, fuel capacity is, yeah, 1,200 litres. So, yeah. And that consumes it quite quickly. So, we've already done a, literally a full combine's worth of fuel already. Combine's still got half a tank left. So, That'd be good for the time being, and actually, you know what? Screw it, I'm gonna do 26. 
And if we've got time, I'll do 31, which is just too directly in front of us. But for now, I'll get you hooked up. And yeah, one camera in between episodes. Because yeah, next time we need to start prepping the fields and that. Yeah, may do winter wheat and barley and that. That's only if we get the fields properly lined. Because I want to do one wheat and one barley. I'm thinking seven and eight. Of course, they need proper applications of lime applied. But yeah, that will be all for next time. And once again, deal with a field with Typhoon Pylon. So, I think for this, I'll just do this ourselves. And I did return the header. Yeah, maybe I should have used that instead. But, anyways, we'll use this and we'll just crack on with it. So, combined with that, along with our new fuel supply, and actually, where are we to actually. I'll take this down here instead because I think this could be more useful than that. Just in case we run out of fuel. So, yeah, I'm going to leave this for today. So, next time, yeah, I want to look at self propelled lime spraying because we've got a lot of lime to apply. And what we've got at the moment does the job good, I'll admit, but doesn't have the biggest berth. So, yeah, we'll figure it all out for next time. Bye, bays, as always. That's what I leave it today, and as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. And please consider. But, for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, it's me for my Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.